हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल्स आईएल्स प्रैक्टिस वर्ल्ड प्रैक्टिस चैनल बाय आईएल्स विनर्स सो टुडे दिस इज द टेस्ट फॉर आईएल्स स्पीकिंग एंड इट विल बी लाइक मॉक टेस्ट दैट विल बी कंडक्टेड फॉर 15 मिनट्स आई विल बी आस्किंग क्वेश्चंस एंड एट द एंड ऑफ माय क्वेश्चन यू नीड टू स्पीक अंटिल आई आस्क द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सो इट विल बी टाइम बेस्ड यू हैव टू स्पीक अंटिल आई स्टॉप यू and then at the end of the test i will uh, give sample answers for the same questions so that you know how to answer and what kind of words or the style you should speak for if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe to help us and motivate us help you more because it takes time for everything to do so if you are preparing from home without a mentor if you are doing self preparation these mock tests will help you a lot to understand how you should answer what will be the actual scenario so taking it seriously without interruption is very important so like share and subscribe so that many students can get the idea and practice from this so let's start first we'll be starting with part 1 introductions so i will ask you few questions after each questions i'll pause for some time that is for part 1 it will be 30 seconds i will uh, you have to speak for 30 second that is until i ask next question so you need not pause the video just answer till i ask the next question okay so let's begin hi my name is anshu would you please tell your name where are you from do you work or study okay thank you very much for this now let's get into the interview let me ask about your interests do you like reading last time you read a book or a novel is there any specific thing you like to read are there any special places you go for reading would you like to read in future
do you think a reading is a good habit should children be taught to read on daily basis any books what do you think is best about reading well thank you very much this was the end of your introduction part 1 now let us begin our second part of ielts speaking that is cue card part 2 so here is a cue card for you you will be given 1 minute to prepare your ideas and collect your lexical resources on the particular topic you can take a pen and a paper and write down, write down your ideas after 1 minute you will be allowed to speak for maximum of 2 minutes so the cue card that you are going to answer today is describe a time when you read something on bus or train so any article poster flyer that you read on a bus or a train and found it to be interesting you should say when and where it was what was the topic of article did many people read it and did you like it or not so please take a pen and a paper and your 1 minute of preparation time begins now thank you your 1 minute of preparation time is up now you can please start your answer so please begin your answer now
you very much that is it for your part 2 now let's move on to the follow up questions that is part 3 general discussion so i'll be asking few questions you need to answer them for about 40 seconds so let's begin what kind of books are famous in today's world and why do you think people nowadays read as much as they used to do in past are writers regarded as a role models in your country Do you think electronic books will replace paper books in coming days? thank you very much that is the end of your ielts speaking test it was nice talking to you thank you very much so that was the end of your speaking now for the sample answers let me give you answer so that you know how to attend these questions all these questions were from one of the common topic of ielts and that is reading so let's see with part 1 you can just go back to the question line and see how i answer those questions so the first question for part 1 was do you like reading certainly it gives me immense pleasure to have knowledge and to pick up a book and read varied kind of things especially i am an avid reader of adventure and thrill genre when was the last time you read a book or a novel <laughs> well that's very difficult to remember because uh, i have a short memory but if i'm not wrong i think uh, last week when i was uh, getting some uh, sample questions for ielts writing i read a book written by rachel that was on ielts writing tips and tricks so that was the time i read one 
is there any specific thing you need to write oh of course yes my favorite genre is thrill and adventure as i mentioned i love the gripping storyline and the breathtaking plots that these novels or story books have it's really uh, very difficult to understand what is going to happen next and that suspense is what is very eye captivating for me what would you read in future uh, well i haven't thought about that of course i would go for some detective novels because i think nowadays crime thrillers are at a trend and i would love to read something quite enthralling do you think reading is good habit of course uh, if i am not wrong it's the best quality that a person can have because it not only enhances your language skill but also gives you varied kind of intelligence okay the next question is should children be taught to read on daily basis as far as i my perception goes i think certainly children are very young and whatever is being taught to them is best included in their mind so if they start learning or reading at an early age it enhances their vernacular skills they become fluent in how to read and what kind of writing style they should learn so it's definitely good to teach them reading what do you think is best about reading <laughs> to be frank everything is good about reading i don't find any disadvantages but one thing that is quite superior to me is that it is necessary to build a reading skill if a person hasn't done much reading it's quite difficult for them to read anything uh, newspaper or article research papers and understand what's the gist of the uh, the paper so i think it's quite important to learn how to read and understand things so this is how part 1 is answered you use a simple language to answer the questions quite easily not uh, don't go for formal languages next the part 2 question which was describe a time when you read something interesting on bus so i would start by giving a background sentence and then give answer so uh as i work on daily basis and i have to commute through public transport to my job area i mostly take bus or train today i'm going to talk about an interesting and uh, quite intriguing article or you can say a poster that i visited in a local train that is metro train when i was going to my working space last week actually i was just sitting and having a boring time as usual because i didn't have anything to do suddenly my eye just caught a very bright yellow poster just posted in front of me near the gate of the metro train and the letters were quite bold so i couldn't avoid it it was a contrasting color so very eye catching i would say in bold black letters it was clearly written that you stay in will do sushi uh, so at first when i read this article i i was quite confused what does it mean you stay in and i do sushi then when i came down when i looked down at the picture then it become very clear for me that what this poster is trying to tell actually it was a, a, a advertisement of a restaurant i suppose who were saying during covid 19 no need for people to come out because the covid 19 is spreading very rapidly and it's dangerous for everyone so they were actually trying to say that you guys that is the their customers please stay inside your home follow the rules be in lockdown and do not worry about your food because we will be providing you the food and specifically their famous item was called sushi so it was a restaurant ad but the way they started and mingled the covid-19 situation with the advertising policy was quite actually 
funny as well as interesting to watch because it's a good way to attract people attract customers at first they won't understand and when they understand it will make them it will make them urge for that food so what is so special about that sushi that i should not go out but it will be delivered to my home and i will eat it so that poster really attracted me it was quite atmospheric and everywhere it was posted on each gate of the metro so wherever you went you had no other option but to have a glance at that bright yellow poster so after reading it i found it quite intriguing and so i called it and when i reached my home i ordered that sushi and to my amusement it was delicious it was just out of the world i had never had anything such beautiful and aromatic the spices were at par and i loved the way the sushi was prepared so all in all i think that poster led me to a very mesmerizing and very mouth watering dish which i would have not noticed or i would not have tasted if i didn't have the glimpse of that poster so this was one time that i had a very interesting and funny poster that led me to have a stomach full of dinner thank you so uh, you had to describe the cue card in this way you can talk about anything now moving to part 3 now part 3 will be quite formal so you will use formal phrases what kind of books are famous in today's world and why as far as i have the knowledge the most famous genre of reading books available in today's world relates to technology and there can be numerous reason for this uh, trend firstly as everyone the whole world is moving towards digital era people are intrigued they are very interested and keen to learn about the new technological language like python or c++ or java so that even they can understand the in inside of what is going on in the digital world another reason is if they do not have the trend trending books knowledge they may lag behind in their job or professional life hence these ideas lead them to lean towards digital books uh, digital uh, books and learn about these machine languages next question is do you think people nowadays read as much as they used to in past unfortunately i would say no to this answer because i don't think people nowadays are as avid reader as our ancestors used to be and there are copious uh, root causes for such trend firstly people nowadays have hectic schedule they have 9 to 5 desk job which doesn't allow them to have any leisure activity to enjoy reading or do any extra curricular activities apart from this it also has become a norm that people try to have a relaxed time spending time with their family or doing some outdoor activities instead of sitting in a place and reading and enjoying such kind of books whereas in past our ancestors didn't have these technological developments or the games or such variety of leisure activities they had only limited access to leisure activities such as reading books or having walk and so on therefore there is a vast difference and ancestors used to read much whereas today's generation lag behind in doing so next question was are writers regarded as role models in your country i'm afraid to say that i do not have much knowledge about this question but i would like to try saying something on this if i'm not wrong i don't think that writers are regarded as a uh, 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 role models by anyone but yes there may be few who are uh, interested in writing novels or who take keen interest in reading books so for them definitely these uh, writer or novelists are a uh, people to look for however most of the young generation look forward to other kind of people as role models such as sports stars or movie actors so it depends on the interest and preference of each individual 
do you think electronic books will replace paper books in coming days honestly i am afraid that will not be the case in coming days and i think this can be there can be various reasons for this first and foremost is that though digital books are very easy to read and are free at times they cannot give that as much atmospheric uh, location or feeling that having a printed book in your hand and turning the page you give and the reason that they will still be alive in the world is that only reading with physical book you can have a better understanding of the language the spellings and the aroma of what it tries to say therefore these are some reasons why i think they will never be replaced by the electronic books in future though they will reduce in number but they cannot be wiped out so these were some sample answers we can uh, you can utilize for answering the question hope this video was helpful for you so take the test and uh, keep subscribing to our channel so that you are notified with the latest next questions or tasks that are being uploaded on the channel thank you very much do subscribe please